Hey there guys, Wanda here. We're in the house this afternoon. Um, it's a pretty day, it's sunny, but it's a little breezy, cool breeze. So I decided to come in and um, what we're gonna do today is we are finally going to get to do our CBD tincture. I did this back in December toward, after Christmas almost the end of the month. Um, I had ordered some um, some hemp flower buds from an organic uh, flower farm that grew it and harvested it and, and it's all organic. And they had pretty good reviews and um, I wanted to make my own CBD tincture and some CBD massage oil, so. I got the massage oil down, got that all done. So I'll leave a link for that if you wanna watch that video. Um, but the first thing I had to learn to do before I could make this CBD tincture was to decarb. So I had to learn to decarb the, the hemp flower to turn it from, CB, from hemp to CBD. So I did that and I'll leave a link for that one that you can watch how I decarbed my hemp flour from the, um, from the grower. And he sent me um, <clears throat> so a certificate of analysis in case I got into any issues with, you know, like the post people or the uh, police because it does, the flour, the hemp flour bud does look like, you know, the actual marijuana, but it isn't. Um, and the one that I used in this CBD uh, to make this CBD tincture was, um, it's called Special Sauce. I'm only gonna, I only decided to use one variety. Now the next one I'd like to do, I'd like to make two varieties together. That means two different types of hemp. And I'll decarb those and we'll put them together to make a, a different type of tincture, um, a different CBD tincture. But this one is with uh, 100 proof vodka. It has some vegetable glycerin, that's food grade, which is a uh, fatty alcohol. And we have our vodka, which is 100 proof. And this has been sitting in a warm place after I decarbed. And it's been sitting for over eight weeks. It's like eight and a half. It's okay. It's alcohol. It has a long, 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 long shelf life. So if I go over a little eight weeks, it's not gonna be no big deal. But I wanna get it done. Um, I'm anxious to get it out of the jar so we can see. And um, so I can give it to uh, a few of these samples out to friends and family to try and because uh, we have plenty of people in our family that have um, arthritis um, two or three people have had surgeries two of them have back surgeries my husband and my brother they both have had back surgery so that would be great for them um, and like I said you know we all get inflammation we all pull a muscle we all move the wrong way. We get a pinched nerve. We get aches. We get pains. Um, we get arthritis as we get older. Um, this is an overall great thing to take a dropper full. Work your way up from a dropper full. If you don't want to take it direct under the tongue, the dropper, so that it hits you direct, if you're not a drinker type person like I am not, um, I think I would take that dropper full and put it in a little shot glass and then just um, put a little bit of water in there and then I would drink it. Um, just so that it's not so strong if you're not a drinker, which like I said, I'm not. Um, so, but that's two different ways you could take it, um, either with water or straight under the tongue if you are like in really if you're in really bad pain, you're having, you know, terrible pain, by all means, if you can handle it, take it under the tongue, it'll go right into the bloodstream. 
Um, then work your way up as far as um, how much of a dose that you want. And of course, I'm not a doctor. Just make sure you, you know, you want to check with your, um, your physician um, to see if it would be okay for you to take CBD. Because um, most CBDs is made without some type of form of alcohol. Um, so, well, let's get busy and uh, we're going to get this strained. We're going to need a strainer. I brought my little spatula just so I could press it down a little. Need a pitcher of some sort. I brought a plate just to put it on there in case I make a boo-boo mistake, which I hope I don't just spill them too much because I really want all of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this because it doesn't sit on there right correctly, and um, so I'm gonna have to hold that as I pour. So I'm gonna give it a nice good shake. It did turn out very, you know, when I first put this in, it was clear. Within, I would say, a few hours, I could see it start turning. Now look how dark. In eight and a half weeks. Today, I did this on uh, December 28th. And today is the 4th of March, 2021. So, a little over eight weeks. Uh, eight and a half. So, I'm so excited to get it out. And then I'll make a new label with all my ingredients. And um, we'll put them in uh, some bottles. And like I said, we'll give a few samples to try, and then um, if all goes well, we'll have them in the shop. Okay, well, let's give this a good shake. And of course, the um, old CBD that, you know, we're gonna take out the material, the plant material, we're just gonna um, put that in a separate compost outside, and not in our garden, but in another spot that we keep all of our herbal compost that so that's what you want to do with that okay hopefully i can get this off because boy did it seal oh there we go and it is pretty full still Okay, here we go. Hopefully you can see this. I am going to hold this very... Let me get a better grip. There we go. At least until... Um, let me move this. There. At least until um, I get halfway and then I can finish just pouring it. Boy, you can really smell it. I'm trying to be really careful so I don't miss any. I want all of it. Okay, let's see if I can't... Uh, Ooh, yes, much better. Look how dark that is. That is awesome. Now we will probably have to strain this a couple times to get all the little, um, you know, the little pieces. This is a very fine, um, strainer. I'll get it out. And, um, so, we definitely want all the, uh, get all, I did spill a teeny bit, but not much. So scrape your jar. Now to store this, you want it in a cool, dark place afterwards. But making it, when I was infusing it, it wasn't in a cool place. So you'll have to watch that video to see, you know, how I went about when I, Put it in the uh, when I got it all together. Whoo, 
it's pretty potent too. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, see, you want to take your spatula and get as much of the juice, or I mean of the tincture, not juice. <laughs> It'd be juice, sorry. And um, you want to press as much and get as much of that alcohol tincture as you can. That is awesome. And wow, I can smell. I mean, it's not as, um, it's not as potent um, back when I was decarbing. Woo, man, the whole house smelled like that for hours. Um, yeah, you didn't want to have friends over at that time. They'd be like, man, why does your house smell like weed? <laughs> yeah. Uh, try to explain that one. Um, so we're going to let this strain a little bit. And because um, I want to make sure I get it all. And then all I'm doing is moving the, um, the CBD around. And then once I dump this part of it, I will probably uh, strain it again with a cheesecloth inside this strainer here, just to make sure I get all the particles, the big pieces. You don't want any, um, you know, big, big pieces. See, it's still got some, it's definitely got some uh, tincture left in there. Wow. Doesn't smell too bad. Can't wait to try it. I have a couple of uh, family members that I'm gonna um, let use it. Cause they, uh, like I said, they got, they got some pretty high tech pain. So they'll be able to tell me. And I would like to try another, um, another batch maybe with, um, you know, like two different types of hemp flour. And, uh, you know, um, um, I'd like to get the highest CBD level of hemp flour that I can get. That way it'll be good and potent. This one was pretty high potent, the um, special sauce. I think it's like 18%. It's up there a little bit, yeah. So, okay, I don't think I'm gonna get any more out of that. Um, I think I'm going to put that right here for the time being. And then I'm gonna slide this, show you. I'm just checking. Doesn't look too bad in the light. But look, there we go. That is awesome. I'm going to bring the um, camera over here so you can see. It is a very dark tincture. Kind of like a reddish. Um, like a reddish brown tincture. I hope I can do this right. There we go. See, look at that. That is awesome. And I would say, let me see how much I actually wound up straining out of there. Almost well, a one and three quarters cup, or two thirds, I guess, in between, almost a three quarters cup. Actually, yeah. 
So, a little pint jar gives you one and three quarters cups of, of uh, tincture strained. That's pretty good. That's a long time. That's a lot of good medicine right there. So, which we will be putting them in amber bottles, in dropper bottles, as long as they're dark. That is awesome. Okay, well, all we have left to do is to uh, get rid of our CBD flour on the compost and make a new label and get this in a jar. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by with me today while I strain out my CBD tincture made from my own um, my own homestead. And um, you know, you, you can try it yourself. You don't have to go spend $80 for a little teeny bottle of CBD. Um, yeah, the flower is probably going to be the most expense, but look at all the CBD tincture that you're going to get after you get the, uh, the hemp flower and the vodka. You can do it yourself. If I can do it, I know you can do it. So try and, uh, try looking out at my videos on how to decarb and get you some 100 proof vodka. Find a reputable source, reputable person that grows. You know, I prefer organic myself. So I got organic hemp flower buds that's close to you or one that you think that has really good uh, reviews. That's what I did because we don't grow it in our state. So, um,. And uh, that's what I did, and I just did it myself. It's all about trying to sustain your own, your own things on your own homestead. And you need some pain, pain reliever, and I decided I'm going to make my own pain reliever. So we'll let you know, hopefully in a future video, and... Um, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you'll hit the uh, like button and share it. Hey, and if you want, you can subscribe to our channel. And, um, hey, please share it with others so that they can learn also. Because we want others to learn to how to be able to provide for themselves. Um, they don't always have to depend on the other Man, your big, big box places to uh, get them through. So, God bless you. Stay well. Be healthy and be safe. Hey, and most of all, be blessed. God is good all the time. And he's always watching out for us. So, we'll see you next time on the Homestead.